Hey guys, I just wanted to do a quick video on this topic. Which is better, stocks or options? I know you see me talking about stocks on this channel, but options as well. So we're going to go through the advantages and disadvantages of each. And starting with the advantages of stocks. So, unlike your you're unlikely to lose everything on a stock. There's less risk than with other investments, particularly options. Um, it's more risk than other things, but the reward can be greater as well. Higher returns than other investments, such as uh, maybe a high yield savings account or a CD is going to offer you maybe 4.5% or 5%. You could do much better than that with stocks. Um, I've had stocks go up on me like 20% in a month's time. So, or more in a month or two. You don't have to frequently watch. If you get a fundamentally sound stock and you get it at its annual low price, you don't have to babysit them. Some people don't watch theirs for months. Um, I don't have that type of discipline. I keep an eye on mine, but I don't have to um, stress over watching them constantly when it comes to owning the stocks. You can improve your odds of, of success with proper research. If you get a fundamentally sound stock, you can improve your odds dramatically, but it has to be analyzed and it has to be fundamentally sound. You can use margin to help you buy stocks. That's a big one. What that means is that if you open a brokerage account and you have like more than $2,000 in that brokerage account at many brokerages, you have access to margin. That means they'll loan you up to 100% of your funds to buy stocks. So, so if I have $3,000 in the account, I can get $3,000 in margin. So although I only have $3,000 in my account, I can buy $6,000 worth of stocks and only have to pay a very small interest rate, even though the money that I'm making if the stock moves up is much more. Now let's look at some of the disadvantages of stocks. It's less return on investment than options. Stocks can give you 2 or 3% in a day, some days it may ride up a lot more, but that's unusual. Some days it may be like 1% or under 1%, but 2 or 3% is acceptable for a day. Things can drop unexpectedly, and I'm about to show you a couple of examples of that. I can think of two right offhand that happened just recently. I do fundamental research on all of the stocks that I buy, and I make this research available to you guys as well through this week's Stock Winners. In any event, I did some research on a bank, Signature Bank, and it was at the time it was $109.56 a share. That was March 2nd of 2023. Well, around that time, a bank ended up closing. I believe it was Silver, Silver Valley. And when that bank was affected, Signature Bank was affected as well, even though what happened at the other bank had nothing to do with Signature Bank. Now, here was Signature Bank on March 11th, which was, like we said, I did that research on March 2nd. Here it is, March 11th, nine days later. And the stock price had dropped from $109.56 to 
to seventy dollars. Now, what is that stock price today? And now we're in January eleventh of twenty twenty four. It's down to two dollars and thirty five cents. So you you don't want to just disappear for months and not look at your stocks. You want to keep your eyes on them, be aware of what's happening, watch the news every once in a while, financial news, you know, be aware of what's happening with them. Another one is Paycom. Paycom is a fundamentally sound company, and they were doing well. They were at their annual low price. They was around 200 and something dollars a share. All of a sudden, overnight, because of a bad earnings report, Paycom dropped $90 a share in one day. Needless to say, as soon as they did that, I already researched the company. I knew how fundamentally sound they were. And I immediately bought them as soon as they dropped, and I'm up 20% on them to this day. But stocks can drop. It's not as if there's no risk. It's not often, but it can happen. Now, what's the advantages of options? Higher returns than stocks. I told you a, a good stock can go up. 2 to 3% a day, a good option can go up 10 or 20% a day or more easily. There's been many months where I've made 50 to 100% return on my money with options. You can improve your odds of success with research because options are based on stocks. So if you've done the fundamental research on the stock, and you know the stock is safe to buy, then the same would follow with the option. It's safe to buy. Buying options provide higher returns, but higher risk. Selling options is lower predictable returns, but lower risk. That's one thing. You Not only can you buy options, you can also sell options. When you buy options, there's one out of four ways of being successful. But if you're successful, the returns are phenomenal. But there's three out of four ways of being successful if you sell them. The returns are predictable, but the risk is a lot lower. Now, let's get to the disadvantages of options. The same way you can easily make 10 or 20% a day buying options contracts when the underlying stock price goes up, you can lose 10 or 20% or more with options if the stock price goes down. So the, it's, it's the same thing. If the stock price goes down, you can lose a lot with options. Because an option has a strike price and an expiration, it's very easy to lose your entire investment if the price starts falling or it's not going up and it's too close to the expiration date. The other thing is you can only use your cash with options. There's no access to margin when you're making it options purchases. So in summary, between the two of them, stocks are a safer investment with greater growth potential than things like high yield savings account and CDs. You can also grow your money quicker with stocks when using margin to buy a stock that's growing in value. Selling options is safe with more predictable returns, giving you three out of four ways of being successful. Buying options is more risky, but with explosive returns, 
was successful. And just wanted to show you guys something, something I had made before. I actually was doing this before, and I actually got up to month four. And at that time, I wasn't doing 1,000 to 1 million. I was doing double your investment. In other words, I was trading options and doubling my money every month. The first month, I had a 250% return. Then I doubled my money every month for like three months. Um, things were going so good. Uh, me and the wife visited Puerto Rico. I figured, that, hey, if I'm going to be rolling in the money, may as well get down there. They're not taxing you on your stocks. So, But in any event, then what happened... COVID came along, and with the combination of COVID and inflation, options were sort of thrown off for a while. But now stocks are rising again, and it may be the t opportunity to try that again. So, but in any event, if you're making just 50% on your options every month, here we go. First month, second month, by the fourth month, you're at 3,375. Notice you start with 1,000. You're not even adding any money. You're just making 50% a month. And let's see where you get, and that's the riskier way of doing it. There's a safe way of doing it. I'm probably going to drop a video on this. Um, if you guys are subscribed to the channel, you'll see when I drop it, but I'm not dropping it just yet. In any event, when you get to the 19th month, what do you have? 1,000, 1,004,7700. But in any event, this is speculative only because of one factor. Will you be able to get because you're doubling, you're increasing your money every month because you're increasing the amount of options contracts that you buy. And the question is, will the brokerage have that amount of those contracts to sell to you? Will you have to be working with multiple brokerages? And even if you're working with multiple, multiple brokerages, once you get up to the large numbers, Will they be able to provide you with those options contracts? But in any event, anything under a hundred thousand, I feel they can easily provide you with. So the let's say month twelve, the eighty six thousand, I feel that should be no problem. But like I said, this is speculative. In any event, I have a series that I provide on the channel, this week's option picks where every week I pick out an option that we're going to ride with and see how it does over the weeks. Also, this week's stock winners. And it's from this week's stock winners that I make the option pick. So every weekend I make up a this week's stock winners. And then from one of the stocks that looks promising, in this week's stock winners, that's where I pick the option that I'm going to be riding with for that next week. So you want to find, you can find both of these inside the channel, Uncle Dwayne's watch list. Finally, we have breaking financial news. And what breaking financial news is for is if anything happens in the markets, or in particular with stocks mentioned in this week's stock winners or this week's option picks. I mentioned it. I drop a video with breaking financial news to explain what's going on so that you'll be aware of it. If it's something I pre pre um, presented in this week's option picks, then maybe you should let go and sell. I'll present it in there. If something happens in the markets that you should be aware of, I'll present it in there. So anytime you see that thumbnail, you definitely want to check out the video and see what I'm talking about if you're invested in the market. Finally, we have 
there's a couple of videos in the channel if you're not very familiar with options or how to use them. And that is, I have one called, what is a call option? And what is a put option? And you can check those out. The thumbnails will be changing you soon, but the videos will soon be in there, will still be in there. You can check those out if you want to know more about options. So that's it, guys. I look forward to speaking to you in the next video. Have a great day.